coming up in this edition of our free software series, I have four programs to show you, all of which are completely free. As usual, this video is not sponsored. These are just programs in various categories I've tested and used over the years that I thought might be useful for some of you. Let's get started. First up is Waterfox, which is an open source web browser based on Firefox. Waterfox contains many features with the purpose of having a speedy and ethical user-focused browser. When you open Waterfox, you'll first notice that it looks very similar to Firefox with most of the same features. You can even import all of your bookmarks, themes, and add-ons that you're using on Firefox. Speaking of add-ons, they can be accessed the same way by selecting the menu icon in the upper right and selecting add-ons. It will send you to this page to get more add-ons. There are tabs on the left to see the extensions installed and your themes will show up in the appearance tab. Right now, I'm using the Dark Fox theme. If you want to change the appearance of your browser, selecting this link here at the top will send you to a new page with thousands of themes to choose from. If you're concerned about privacy, no data or telemetry is sent back to Mozilla or the Waterfox project. Waterfox is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Now for a quick one, Darktable is a free and open source photography workflow application and raw developer. This program allows you to develop and enhance raw images. This is done non-destructively. Your original image is never modified. You can also manage your digital negatives in a database by using different metadata attributes. Darktable is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. QBitTorrent is a free and open source BitTorrent client. Compared to many alternatives such as uTorrent, it's lightweight so it won't use much of your CPU. There are no ads and you don't have to pay extra for add-ons or extensions. It also supports many extensions, including magnet links. It has a clean looking interface, as you can see. When uploading or downloading torrents, they'll appear in the primary area of this window. There's a couple of settings that you might want to change by going to tools and selecting options. Go down to the speed tab. If you live with others and they're experiencing issues accessing the internet while you're uploading or downloading torrents, you could just ignore their complaints, or to reduce the bandwidth allocation to make everyone happy, in global rate limits, tick the upload and download boxes. Unticked, they will be at full speed. To the right, adjust the upload or download rate as needed. Let's go to the BitTorrent tab. Depending on the speed of your ISP, you may want to increase or decrease the maximum active downloads, uploads, and the total amount of torrents active at one time. If you need further help using QBitTorrent, their forums are a great place to get answers to your questions. QBitTorrent is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Google Earth Pro is a virtual globe program. Up until a few years ago, it used to cost $399, but now it's completely free. The best way to tell you about it is to show you. The software is a lot like using Google Maps, but with more powerful features. When you launch Google Earth, you should be zoomed out. To navigate, on the right, there are controls to look around, move around, and zoom in and out. Just like Google Maps, you'll find the keyboard and mouse controls to be more user-friendly. To zoom in and out, use the page up and page down keys on your keyboard, or you could use the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Wherever you see the hand on the globe, if you zoom in, it'll zoom into that location. So I'll go here, somewhere in Central Texas. So I'll zoom in now. The left, right, up, down keys on your keyboard will move you around, or you can just left click and drag, and that will move you around too. There's a search bar here on the left, and you can do a search in various ways, including address, business name, and coordinates. I'll now do a search for the Magic Kingdom at Disney World. And there it is, Magic Kingdom Park. So I'll select that one, and then select Search. And it will fly you to that location. I'll now zoom in on an area of that park. 
And I'll just zoom in all the way here. There we go. And you can look around with your arrow keys and move forward or backwards in the park. And they call this Street View, which is also available on Google Maps. Here in the left pane, you'll see a layers area. Here you can make changes to the layers to view more or less details. I've already spent too much time on this program, so I'll leave the rest of this for you to discover on your own. Google Earth Pro is available on Windows, Mac, and you can even get it for a couple of the distros of Linux. Thanks for watching. Links to the programs mentioned are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. What is your favorite free software? Let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff.